obviously big shoes to fill. Uh, and, um, and Cyrus has always done well for us, really. Uh, he, in many aspects, he may well be unlucky that someone so brilliant as Seamus Coleman is in front of him. But he is again, he's trying to, he, uh, he took himself off as well too, to get uh, physically fit just after the season before we even met up in court. And uh, great credit to him, desperate to do well. And I thought he was excellent today. And I thought he was one of our um, better lights in the game against Mexico. Great, great goal, great goal. Delighted for John, captain on the day as well too, and then uh, proceeds to stick it over the, or hits the bar with the, um, with the one. That, how close was he? Was about two yards. About two yards. About two yards. He's not the only one that's missed from that distance. You know? <laughs> for us, it is in terms of injuries and things that you see. It's been very much stop start since he's, um, since he's. Um, aligned himself with us, which was great, and it's been really stop-start. It would be nice for him just to get, um, you know, just to get away uh, injury-free, if nothing else. Um, didn't make it to the Euros probably because he hadn't played enough for us at the time. But here, I thought that um, I thought he, I thought he made a, a significant contribution, which was good. In a nutshell, we've got to go forward against uh, against Austria. I don't want to be sitting regretting here that we haven't done that. We're in the front foot. We've got to be in the front foot from the start of the game. We've got to go and take. We've got to take some risks in the match as well too. And uh, we've got to. We're at home. We've got the crowd. We have to try and win the game.